Well, it really does allow you to personalise their learning um, in terms of the pace at which uh, pupils work at, um, in terms of uh, just day-to-day -day and, and, and week-by-week -week, uh, lessons, um, in terms of setting a, a task and then the pace at which pupils can work at um, and how then they deliver their their message or how they deliver their work as well uh, is personal to you. Can I introduce some uh, particular apps such as, for example, Evernotes that uh, became a sort of uh, copybook for them and uh, so they could record the lesson, they could take notes, they could uh, shoot pictures and so they could uh, add audios and, uh, and videos and um, everything they, they needed. An added advantage now is that in the lessons if they, just, they, they ask a question or they decide to you know, investigate something else, I've got the flexibility and the speed to be able to go off at a tangent and do something else and um, follow their own lines of inquiry, which really is personalising the learning again. In a moment, we, we, you can use the video camera, the photo camera, you can go to the internet, you can use different applications and sometimes to explain something you are using to let's look at the book. You see this image here, and right now we can use, for example, 3D models of, of imagine the heart if you are talking about the circulation system. And in fact, students like it better and they, they learn better. A big finding from my study was the the creativity of the pupils um, and the actual. Uh, upskilling that they needed with certain apps for that creativity and, and to you know to, to really look at things a bit differently rather than just uh, um, pulling out a PowerPoint presentation or a keynote. Uh, out of the 20, um, I, I got 10 PowerPoint and keynote presentations and the other 10 used a bit more creativity. So that's something I, I need to look at whether that's um, the term beforehand or the year beforehand like we can do that maybe in the year beforehand and kind of upskill them. Um, and get that real creativity with, with, with our pupils. I think that, that's a definite finding that I, that from my group that I came out with. Um, I maybe just expected them to be a bit more creative than they were. ICT uh, is a solution, one of the solution, to include everyone. Because as a teacher, we can see uh, who has collaborated and when. So for the feedback, it's a real uh, value. I, don't, I have a word. Uh, what I would like to do is um, in, for them to engage a lot more in, in small group tasks with the iPads. You know, I think I think that's the next step for me in that class is they work well one to one, uh, but collaborating uh, needs to be the ne their next focus and and that challenge and um, having the having the pupils that rush through the work, maybe supporting and helping and being the kind of class experts, you know, and helping the pupils that um, are a little bit, you know, slower in terms to get going.